It's Genji. All right, I feel like I have finally accomplished enough to justify another video where we left off. I was working on the uh, the rear mount radiator setup and the bungs and everything. And uh, well, here's I'll show you what I got done. It's it's all finished. It's it works finally. I beat my freaking head over this getting it to work. All right, so where I left off was I got this little backing plate and I have welded uh, dash 12 fittings on there. And then I got this blue silicone hose. Uh, I cheated the system a little bit so I didn't have to buy braided line for dash 16. It's very, very expensive. It would have been like almost over $300 for the amount of footage I needed. So, but this is actual real heater hose. It's rated for temperature and pressure, but it was only a hundred bucks for 25 feet and it just did me enough. So that's all done up there. It runs beneath the car. You can't really see it. it runs underneath the car. I got my pad here. And, uh, yeah, here it is all done. Um, hold on, it's pretty hard to see, but, uh, let me grab a light real quick. Okay, I got my phone here. Um, yeah, we had the fittings on the, the end tanks here. And, okay, so the bottom one is running up to my pump. This is a PRP, uh, 55 gallon pump. Uh, it's kind of like a Mirez knockoff. It is American made, believe it or not. It seems to be good quality, so. And then out of the pump, uh, it goes back to the car, so. Or up to the engine. But anyways, and then right here, this black line goes up into the trunk where the expansion tank is. So anyways, um, yeah, it took me a couple days to get all this working because uh, if you guys remember, I had this fitting sticking straight out this way and I was getting an air pocket in here and it would not allow the pump to uh, create a siphon. So um, it was giving me all, it wouldn't, I'd fill this up with water and it wouldn't pump any liquid. So I had to move the, I capped that and then I moved the fitting to like the very tippy tippy top of the radiator, like the absolute top and that solved all my problems. So if you guys run into that, it needs to be to where that radiator has zero air in it. So once I did that, it all started working great. It burped it and um, I got my fan kind of ghetto wired up along with the pump. And uh, I still need to tie the lines up a little bit better. I need to get some of those insulated metal clamps, but um, I did run the car and it works awesome. Oh, and there's no pin. I did, I had a pinhole in one of these welds, so I had to take the whole stupid radiator back off and fix that. But it's been sitting in here a few days now and it doesn't have any drips under it, so no leaks. Um, yeah, I got the car going and uh, it no longer overheats at all at idle. I let it idle for like half an hour and it never even with the fan on, it won't get over 170. Like it, and I run no thermostat, so it it's gonna work great. Um, I think even cruising it, it's gonna run under 200, so. Uh, that fixed all our problems, guys. It's, I've got a big radiator and I don't gotta worry about all this room up here. My plan is to, not this year, cause I just need to run what I got, uh, but I'd like to front mount this turbo up front which now I have room because I got no stupid water pump up here. I'll probably change this intercooler to something a little different of a shape um, because my plan is to still, as of now, keep the intercooler up front. Uh, I don't know, I might end up <laughs> putting it in the firewall or something again. In, not in the firewall, but in the cab, but I don't know, we'll see. Because I won't ever go methanol on this car, I just, I like the pump E85. It's just that when you go to methanol, it's just not a street car anymore. It's 
not a street car already, but I mean, it's even more not a street car. In the truck, uh, I've been also working on uh, getting the wiring on this car really fixed. It was complete shit. Um, other than the Ron Francis harness that runs the engine. Um, but excuse these wires. I got this stuff ghetto rigged just to run my pumps so I can test out the radiator. I'm going to get a relay switchboard for the rear to run my ice chest, my fuel pump, my water pump, my trans cooler fan, and my engine fan. So yeah, I need, I got a lot of electronics back here that need a relay switchboard. And then the only other thing I've been working on is uh, cleaning up the wiring. So there's like almost no wiring in the engine bay. It's really clean. And uh, I got all this cleaned up in here. Oh man, I can't see, hold on. All this used to be outside the car in the fender and it was horrible. But now it's, I got my relays and my, my fuse block for my engine harness. Now I've got a power distribution block that uh, runs the, you know, everything that needs power. My switches, my starter, everything like that. So that all got cleaned up really nice. Now I just need a relay box for the back, which I did move my battery due to uh, my coolant expansion tank is now where the battery was, but it, this is still in the back. It'll all behind, be behind the firewall. So it'll all be safe and everything, and it's it's bolted down good. So yeah, guys, that's what I've been doing. Um, we're really, really close to running this thing. Just I just need that switch panel board that's like nothing. And uh, I gotta get, the only other thing I need is water lines for the intercooler, but that's not like a super difficult thing. I know everything already works on all that system. It's just a matter of just buying hose. So yeah, we get that done. And this thing will be ready to rock and roll and we'll get some videos going. So really appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.